Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? This is 7 power n plus 1 equals negative 49. Solving for the value of n that satisfies this equation. So, if you have a power x plus y, this equals a power x times a power y. So, what we are going to have here is 7 power n times 7 power 1 equals negative 49. So, we divide this by 7. And divide this by 7. 7 eliminate 7 of 7 power n equals negative 49 divided by 7 is negative 7. Now we need to solve this exponential problem so we apply natural log and we also apply natural log right here. Now, if you consider this property, if you have natural log a power p, this equals p times natural log a. So that means we have n coming behind this. We have n times natural log 7 equals natural log negative 7. So from here, I can have n times natural log 7 equals natural log this negative 7 I can have it as negative 1 times 7 so if you have natural log a times b this equals natural log a plus natural log b applying same here I will have n natural log 7 equals natural log negative 1 plus natural log 7. Now, let's consider this also. If you have square root of negative 1, this equals i, iota. If you take this square this cancel this, that means negative 1 equals iota squared. So, n times natural log 7 equals natural log iota squared plus natural log 7. Now we go back to the same identity again. If you have natural log a power x, this equals x times natural log a, meaning that we have n natural log 7 equals 2 times natural log i plus natural log 7. So we can isolate n here. We divide this by natural log 7. We divide this by natural log 7. This cancel this. Half n equals 2 times natural log i plus natural log 7 divided by natural log 7. I can decide to divide all through by the common denominator. of n equals 2 times natural log i divided by natural log 7 plus natural log 7 divided by natural log 7. From here, I'll have n equals 2 times natural log i divided by natural log 7 plus this cancel this, we have 1. So this becomes our answer based on this. Now we can also solve this when negative 1 equals e power i times pi. We have 7 power n plus 1 equals negative 49. Meaning that the identity applies here again, 7 power n times 7 power 1 equals negative 49. We divide this by 7. We divide this by 7. This cancel this. So from here, we have 7 power n equals this is negative 7. We apply natural log. 
we also apply it here. Now, this property holds again natural log a power p equals p times natural log a, meaning that we are going to have n times natural log 7 equals natural log. For this, we can express it as negative 1 times 7. Meaning that we have n times natural log 7 equals natural log. Remember, this negative one here, we can easily replace it with this. If you have e to the power of i times pi plus 1 equals 0, meaning e power i times pi equals negative 1. So this will be e power i times pi times 7. And now again, if you have natural log a times b, this equals natural log a plus natural log b. Applying that here, we have n natural log 7 equals natural log e power i times pi plus natural log self. So if you have natural log x power y equals y times natural log x. So this n times natural log 7 equals i times pi natural log e plus natural log 7. So natural log of e is 1, that comes a lot. You have n times natural log 7 equals i times pi plus natural log 7. Isolating n, we divide this by natural log 7. We divide this by natural log 7. This cancel this. I have my n equals i times pi plus natural log 7 divided by natural log 7. Dividing by the common denominator, we have n equals i times pi divided by natural log 7 plus natural log 7 divided by natural log 7. From here we have n equals i times pi divided by natural log 7 plus this cancel this we have 1. So we have i times pi here. Why we have 2 times natural log of i here? And 2 times natural log of i is the same as pi. So guys, any pro approach you want to use is correct. That is it guys. Goodbye.